Okay, hello guys, it's Mary Tama here. I'm the first wife of my Lord Husband, King Atihen of the Northern Kingdom. And I'm very happy that he's here to just sit and support me as I do this video. So, thank you my Lord Husband, I appreciate you and all your support. So today, I'm going to be talking about a very, very, very important topic a very important subject I'm gonna be talking about black women and natural beauty um, as you can see the way I'm looking I am a very natural black woman this is my hair as you can see this is my hair I wear my own hair I do not wear weaves I don't wear wigs I don't wear braids I don't take somebody else's hair and put it in my hair it is an abomination just because everybody does it doesn't mean it's right it is a great abomination for a black woman to take another woman another woman another race as well hair and put it on your head because you think it's more beautiful because you think as a black woman with your own hair you can never look beautiful you can't look pretty so you you think you're the only time there are some women black women most black women cannot even leave the house without a wig because they feel naked without the asian woman's hair it is the greatest abomination and if if you wear a wig if you wear a asian woman's hair if you wear indian women's hair you are disconnected from your creator there is no way you can even hear from God. You will never be able to hear from Yahuwah. If you, th if you think going to church wearing a wig will, will save you, when you go to church you hear from God. You will not hear anything and you are 100% disconnected from your creator if you put a filthy wig in your hair because your hair is your antenna. Hair is spiritual. The reason why black women are the most despised women on earth, the reason why black women have got no covering, the reason why black women don't have even the protection of the average black man is because black women are disconnected to who they are. You have given your power to Asian women. You have given your power to Indians. And this is why even your, your, your black men are now being more attracted to Asian girls because you desire their beauty. You take their crown. You take your own hair and you say, this is not beautiful. I can't be seen in this hair. Then you go and put the Asian woman's hair because you believe that they're more beautiful than you. Almost every black woman on this earth believes that Asian women are more beautiful. Hence, you desire their hair. You desire their glory. Your hair as a woman is your crown. It is your antenna and it is your glory. Your hair is what connects you to your creator. Your hair is like a little aerial. It's like an aerial it, on your head. It's your glory. There's a reason why even God said your hair is your glory. What does the black woman do? She covers her glory with the glory of another race. She believes that this race is more favored in beauty. This race has got the fine hair. They've got the better hair. You are a disgrace, black women. When you see the world despising you, don't even get offended. You have put yourself at the bottom of the ladder. When it comes to beauty, when it comes to grace, you put yourself on the bottom of the ladder. Hence, even your black men go for those women because you believe they are more beautiful than you. You have given them power. Natural beauty is power. That's one thing you have to understand as a black woman. Natural, your beauty is your power. There is power in how God made you. There is power in your countenance. There is power in your facial features, in your expressions, like who you are, your aura. Your beauty is your anointing. But what, what has the black woman done? She has thrown away. You plaster your faces with makeup. That's for another day. You plaster your faces to the point where people can't even recognize it's you. That's how demonic it is. 
Then on top of that, you put on this. And I don't know why you black women think you look beautiful and you think you look pretty in those weaves. You look stupid. You look like fools. You look like clowns. Any black woman who is wearing a wig, you look like a clown. Because that is not your natural beauty. It's like, just imagine how a, a white woman would look in an afro hair. They do it for costume parties. Just imagine all white women going around wearing afro wigs. They would look like fools and clowns. Because that's not the natural makeup. That's not how their hair is supposed to look. So when you as a black woman wear those weaves, you look like clowns. There's no beauty to it. No wonder why black men despise you and they even laugh at you because you don't want to be black. You don't want to have your, you don't want your own beauty. So me, Mary Tama, I am one of the few people on this earth. I am one of those few women of this generation <coughs> who actually leaves the house in my own hair. I am one of the few women on this earth and my daughters, I've got four daughters and all my daughters will never ever put an Asian woman's filthy hair on their head. They will never take hair which is shaved off in India in temples, sacrificed to gods and idols dirty filthy hair that they are, they are throwing away. Then you black women are like, oh my gosh, give it to us. And the Asians, let me just tell you something. The Asian women laugh at you. You have no idea. And I don't blame them. The Asian women laugh at you, black women. Because you're a disgrace. When you wear those wigs and you go in their shops and then they sell, God, they sell the hair to you. You can't even open your own shops to sell this filthy hair. They sell it to you and they laugh at you. You are like their servants. They, they know that you don't like your beauty and you admire their beauty. But in the northern kingdom, in the royal house of King Atihen, all his wives wear their own hair. They love their beauty. And a true black man will be like King Atihen. A true black man will only want a black woman who wears her own hair. Who's got her own crown and her own glory. And my Lord husband taught me to love my hair. I owe all this glory and all this beauty to this man here. He brought out the best in me. He loves, he loves my hair. Like he loves my hair just the way it is. He appreciates my natural beauty. And that's what I teach women in the Northern Kingdom. In the Northern Kingdom and in our religion as free worshippers, you can never connect to your creator whilst you're wearing a filthy wig on. And those wigs stink as well. Half the time they smell. You will never ever be able to connect with your creator whilst you're wearing another person's DNA. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. I think that's all I just wanted to teach in this short video. Just black women. It's an abomination to wear another woman's hair. Learn from me. If you see my daughter, I've got an 18-year-old daughter. She, she is one of the, probably the only 18-year-old black girl in the UK who wears her own hair. <coughs> Isn't it? All her friends, all her mates, her age, wear wigs and weaves. It's filthy. It's so disgusting. They are all wearing these filthy wigs with, with all these, these um, the glue. You can see the glue and all these weird baby hairs they put here. You look like fools, you black girls. You do look like fools. Someone has to tell you the truth. That's my message today. And I hope this message has touched somebody. If you want to know more about our kingdom, visit our website, thenorthernkingdom.co.uk. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't know if my Lord husband is going to say anything. It's time for us to return to innocence. Women, men, leave the world behind and embrace your natural beauty. Your natural elegance. Because that is our definition. We should define ourselves and not let people define us. On that note, I will.
you say, return to the innocence, my people. Greeting from your king, Atehem. Thank you, my lord. Welcome, Mary. <laughs>